A local veteran highlighting an underappreciated chapter of black history is taking his efforts to another level. He's coming out with a new edition of a calendar celebrating America's black veterans, but he also wants them to be commemorated by a series of postage stamps. We'd like to welcome veteran educator and author Haywood Fennell Sr. Uh, Hello, thank you so much. Good to see you again. You too, my Haywood. friend. Haywood, I don't know if we, we, we covered this ground before, but uh, w what was it like for you uh, going into the military? I mean, w what drew you to that as a career choice? Well, you know, uh, I had a couple of uncles that were uh, veterans, and uh, they wanted to go to college, but they couldn't go to college because uh, they didn't have any money or scholarships weren't available. So they went into the military like a lot of their friends did. And so I thought, saw it as a path to, you know, possibly get a college education, travel, you know, and get paid. Well, you, you know, I know that, you know, there are hazards to be uh, being a soldier in the military, you, you know. Uh, there's a military culture a lot of us don't want to have to live with all the time. Uh, right. so, so why do people do this, you think? Uh, I don't know. Uh, for different reasons, I guess. My... my uh, Primary reason was to be able to go in and possibly make a career out of it because one of my uncles did 24 years uh, in the, first the, the Navy and then the Air Force and he did 20 years in the Air Force and he retired. I, I stayed in six years. My brother came in after me. He went to ROTC and he, he, he got out as a major. You know, uh, a lot of things were promised but Along the way, the reality came in that uh, the military wasn't the best option for me at that time. Now, at the same time, if, if we look back to World War II, maybe the first decade or so after that, a lot of people might say, you know, this was almost like a new frontier for America's black population in a way. Uh, I don't know if, if, if you, you should go back further because uh, African Americans have been involved in military ex experiences since the American Revolution. And two telling points was that the first casualty in the American Revolution was Christmas Addicts right here in the Boston Massacre. And later on, uh, just to highlight the Civil War, the 54th Volunteer Regiment, all black military regiment, uh, were involved in a turnaround battle at Fort Sumter, South Carolina during the Civil War. And then they went on, the Buffalo Soldiers, to become the Buffalo Soldiers and served in the Far West and later on in uh, Italy. Of course, I'm thinking of the, the frontier that opened up in a sense that, that uh, people getting away from Jim Crow, if they weren't doing it by migration to another part of the country, the military was maybe a great avenue. Uh, unfortunately, that's not all true because there's a book called, I believe, Red October that talks about African-American veterans returning in their uniform and were attacked because uh, whites felt that they were going to displace them from employment. So they did have some lynchings while coming out of the military. When you put this calendar together, um, you did some research. What, what did you learn from that? What I learned was that the valor and the, the, the service was overlooked and that our people, I believe, would become more vested in their country and civic pride if they learned about the contributions of African American veterans, male and female. Is, is there any veteran you'd like to mention by way of example, someone that you, maybe you didn't know about earlier but who really impressed you? Well, you know, uh, there were a lot of them that I didn't know uh, by name. I knew more by deeds from people telling me, you know, about them. Uh, Chappie James was a uh, Air Force general. Benjamin Davis was an Air Force general, and of course Colin Powell, who later became the Secretary of State. And they were all military people, and they went on to greater positions in civilian life. This is BNN News, and we're talking with veteran and educator Haywood Fennell Sr. Haywood, I want to ask you about the, the, the idea for the postage stamp series. W was this originally from you, or was it someone who, who suggested this? No, this was uh, at a an exhibit that we did a couple of years ago in Worcester of the the exhibit Triumphs Unforgotten Military Heroes, Forgotten Military Heroes, and United States Congressman James McGovern uh, was in the party with the governor, Charlie Baker, 
and the mayor of Worcester and some other officials, including the Secretary of Veterans Affairs for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And he thought it was a great idea. And he said that he would support this uh, project uh, to become a commemorative stamp series and would advocate to the New England congressional delegation. And so we've been uh, slow putting it together, the organization, but it's coming together now. We just launched our first official uh, uh, event as part of the Worcester Martin Luther King uh, celebration. Well, if people here in Boston want to help with this, uh, what's the best thing for them to do? Well, they could call me at 617-966-9594, or they could email me at Haywood, H-A-Y-W-O-O-D, Fennell, F-E-N-N-E-L-L, five at gmail.com. Here, fi finally, if uh, in the meantime, uh, people want to find uh, a 2020 calendar, what's the best way for them? The to same do? way, to call me or use my email and we can send them in an order form. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Haywood Fennell, Sr. We'll have more news in just a moment.